Pisa. Welcome, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all the beautiful souls out there. I hope that you're doing fantastic. Thank you so much for all your love and support, and I'm so happy and grateful to be catching you today in C8TV.net as your co-host for today. I am Dr. Amy Rajalashmi Allen, a life coach, an entrepreneur, and an international bestseller author from the United Kingdom. Once again, I'm so happy and grateful to have you today on our C8 tv.net. I would like to extend my gratitude to the most incredible little child with a big dream, the most incredible little child with a big dream, Master Prince Pagidipali, along with our managing director of C8TV.net and the chairman of the Life Foundation, Her Excellency Dr. Professor VJE Caroline Mem, along with not to forget the great man Standing firmly behind all the events, His Excellency Dr. Raja Rao Pagidipali. Wedding, Nika, Kalyanam, Shadi, marriage. How hard are we working to make the marriage work? Is marriage just a piece of paper? So does money. But we all are getting up every day and working hard for that piece of paper, don't we? The beauty of a marriage is not always seen from the beginning, but rather as the love develops over time, like a fairy tale story, they live happily ever after. However, dowry is the dark side of a wedding. Now, New Indian Express article states that the number of cases filed under the Dowry Prohibition Act witnesses a rise from 2018 to 2019, India has by far the highest number of dowry-related loss of life in the world, according to the India National Crime Record Bureau. Is dowry system still prevalent? Today, you will receive the most accurate information, insights, statistics, relevant stories, and many conclusions and solutions from our most deliberate panel of speakers. The dowry is an ancient tradition found across cultures, religions, and time periods. However, it is not certain where dowry originated, but the custom take place in wedding ceremonies. While it is commonly taught that a dowry is always given by a woman to her future husband. It is a reverse in other cultures where the groom offers a gift to the bride or her family upon marriage. The dowry can serve as a gift upon marriage. Over time, it became common practice for families to exploit the dowry system all over the world. In some cases, what was meant to be a gift and promise of security from one partner to another soon became a financial demand that resulted in broken engagements, violence, or even loss of life for unpaid dowries. As dowry has become a symbol of woman injustice, we would like to call upon our first panel of speaker on our panel list, who is a beautiful soul inside out you will be able to know why I said that when you see her on the stage for yourself. She is all ready and set to pour out her love on the flow of our show for today. We would like to call upon the founder of Brimisha Immense Foundation, Her Excellency, Miss Sarita Pandi. The stage is yours, ma'am. Thank you so much, Amy, ma'am. Thank you so much. First of all, I would like to thank Raja Rao sir for giving me such a wonderful platform and everyone present here. 
आई सरिता पांडे बाय प्रोफेशन आई एम अ कंपनी सेक्रेटरी इन प्रैक्टिस एंड बाय पैशन आई एम अ सोशल एक्टिविस्ट आई एम द फाउंडर एंड सीईओ ऑफ भीम बिरसा एमएनस फाउंडेशन एंड डायरेक्टर ऑफ वर्ल्ड बुद्धा फाउंडेशन आई एम वर्किंग ऑन वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट वाटर प्रिजर्वेशन एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड लाइक अदर फिलोज uh let's come uh, to the topic dowry as we all know dowry is the darkest side of marriage and for me and uh, i think for every one dowry is a curse as we all are facing this problem according to section 2 dowry prohibition act 1961 dowry is a transfer of a parent property upon the marriage of a daughter daughter what are the causes of dowry or effect of dowry suicidal cases due to abuse and uh, tease from uh, uh, in laws or uh, we can say uh, uh, husband sides as i have seen uh, so many cases i have visited in the rural areas and i have seen so many cases लाइक वहां पे जब मैं विजिट करती हूँ पर्सनली वन टू वन मेरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के थ्रू मैं वन टू वन बात करती हूँ जितनी भी वेमेंस है उनसे वन टू वन बात करती हूँ तो मैंने वहां पे देखा कि शादी तो कहीं ना कहीं हो जाती है बट शादी के एक या दो साल के बाद उनके डिवोर्स हो जाते हैं रीजन ये है कि कहीं ना कहीं यहाँ पे लैक ऑफ अवेयरनेस है लैक ऑफ एजुकेशन है हम जो प्रॉपर जो मेंस को जो हम अपॉर्चुनिटी बॉयज को देते हैं या एजुकेट करते हैं पेरेंट्स जितना बॉयज को उतना इक्वल हम लोग अपॉर्चुनिटी और एजुकेशन हम अपने गर्ल्स को नहीं देते और जब एजुकेशन सिस्टम यहाँ पे इक्वल नहीं है पर्सनैलिटी पर्सनैलिटी हो रही है तो वहां पे कहीं ना कहीं ये लोकोल है ये लैकुनाज है जिसकी वजह से उनको ये अवेयरनेस नहीं है प्रॉपर एजुकेशन नहीं है तो लड़कियां क्या वहां पे समझ नहीं पाती है अपने राइट्स को कि मुझे क्या करना है एक्चुअली अगर उनके साथ गलत हो भी रहा है बट वो वॉइस रेज नहीं कर पाती कि नहीं नहीं मुझे ये करना है या मुझे क्या करना है एक्चुअली उनको पता ही नहीं कि उनको करना क्या है तो यहाँ पे कहीं ना कहीं जो सिस्टम है वो गलत है पेरेंट्स को ये चीज समझना पड़ेगा कि हमें इक्वल एजुकेशन इक्वल अपॉर्चुनिटी बोथ बॉयज और गर्ल्स दोनों को देनी चाहिए जिससे आने वाले टाइम पे उनको ये प्रॉब्लम नहीं हो जब या तो ये करते हैं पेरेंट्स की शादी तो हो जाती है बट शादी के बाद जब वो अपने लॉज के घर पे जाते हैं तो पहले तो बोलते हैं कि मुझे डाउरी नहीं चाहिए मुझे एक लड़की चाहिए जो अच्छी हो जो घर संभाले एक बेटी जैसी लड़की वैसी चाहिए बट जब शादी के बाद बोलते हैं मुझे कुछ तो नहीं चाहिए बट आपके पापा मम्मी ने दिया क्या है दिया तो कुछ भी नहीं है मतलब इन डायरेक्टली उनको टॉन्ट मिलता ही है तो मेरा बस ये कहना है कि आप यहाँ पे जो एजुकेशन सिस्टम है जो पार्सियलिटी है पेरेंट्स के साइड से इनको ठीक करना बहुत ही ज्यादा जरूरी है और ये हमारे सिस्टम जब मैं विजिट करती हूँ रूरल एरियाज में तो वहां पे लोग बोलते हैं कि मेरे जो पेरेंट्स हैं वो हमारी शादी 18 इयर्स से कम में कर देते हैं फोर्टीन ईयर्स में ट्वेल्व ईयर्स में सिर्फ इसलिए क्योंकि वो उतने केपेबल नहीं होते हैं और दे डोंट हैव एनी सोर्स ऑफ इनकम तो जो 50 इयर्स से ज्यादा के इंसान आदमी होते हैं मेंस होते हैं उनसे उनकी शादी कर दी जाती है एट लास्ट होता क्या है कि उनको एक दो साल तो वो सरवाइव कर लेते हैं उसके बाद उनको सुसाइड करना पड़ता है बिकॉज दे थिंक कि दिस इज द बेटर ऑप्शन फॉर मी हर दिन टॉर्चर हर दिन एक्सप्लोइटेशन और हरासमेंट होने से अच्छा है कि आप वो लड़की सोचती है कि अब मैं सुसाइड कर लेती हूँ इससे बड़ा ऑप्शन अच्छा बेटर ऑप्शन मुझे नहीं मिलेगा तो कहीं ना कहीं ये लोकोल है लैकुना है और डाउरी सिस्टम स्टिल एग्जिस्ट करता है मुझे लगता है 98 परसेंट नाइन्टी परसेंट अभी भी ऐसे लोग हैं जो बिना डाउरी के शादी नहीं करते हैं झारखंड में तो मैंने ये बहुत सा केसेस देखा मेरे पास ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जो मेरी है उसके थ्रू मुझे बहुत लोग कल भी मुझे कॉल आया जिसमें वो लोग जो लड़की है वो दहेज डाउरी देने के बाद भी उनको आज इतना टॉर्चर किया जा रहा है उनके इन लॉज उनको मारते हैं उनको पीटते हैं उनको घर से बाहर निकाल दिया गया है क्यों क्योंकि उनको अभी भी कुछ चाहिए दे आर डिमांडिंग मोर एंड मोर एंड मोर वाई वाई ऑलवेज वी 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 आर सफरिंग मतलब हम लोग ही क्यों सफर करें और हम लोग क्यों सफर करें ऐसा क्या मतलब ये कोई क्राइम है क्या अगर हमारे पेरेंट्स ने हमें बर्थ दिया है हमारे पेरेंट्स ने अगर लड़कियां को जन्म दिया है तो ये कोई क्राइम या कर्ज तो नहीं है 
कि आप लड़की अगर हो गई तो ये बचपन से एक ई वो फिक्स्ड हो गया कि नहीं भाई लोन है और वो एक डिपॉजिट करना है एक फिक्स्ड अमाउंट है जो हर मंथ हमको डिपॉजिट करना है और ये क्यों नहीं माइंडसेट अभी भी ये माइंडसेट नहीं है कि जो पैसे हम लोग डिपॉजिट करते हैं उनके डाउरी के लिए क्यों ना उस पैसे को हम लोग एजुकेशन के लिए उनका डिपॉजिट करें उनको एजुकेट करें ताकि कल के डेट में अगर उनके साथ कुछ गलत भी होता है तो दे नो वॉट इट देयर राइट दे कैन गो फॉर द गो फॉर कोर्ट और हायर अथॉरिटी कि उनको पता चले कि नहीं ये मेरे राइट्स है और मैं लड़ सकती हूँ मैं और इतनी कैपेबल हूँ कि मैं अगर मेरे हस्बैंड के साइड से मेरे फैमिली और इन लॉज के साइड से अगर मुझे टॉर्चर किया जाता है और हरास किया जाता है तो मैं खुद सेल्फ ड्रिवेन हूँ मैं स्टैंड कर सकती हूँ खुद को इतना ऐसा बनाना चाहिए तो कहीं ना कहीं पेरेंट्स को भी थोड़ा ये चीज समझना पड़ेगा कि नहीं जो गर्ल्स है उसको भी हम एजुकेट करें ऐसा नहीं है बहुत एक दो परसेंट पेरेंट्स ऐसे हैं फैमिली ऐसे हैं जो आज भी जैसे मेरी खुद की शादी हुई है तो मैंने सिंगल क्वाइन नहीं दिया है या मेरे भाई की शादी हुई तो हमने सिंगल क्वाइन नहीं लिया है तो ये चीज ऐसा नहीं है कि एक दो परसेंट नहीं है, है ऐसा बट अगर मेरे मैं मेरा पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस है जैसे मैं विजिट करती हूँ तो मैक्सिमम केसेस में ऐसा है कि डाउरी अभी भी है डायरेक्टली अगर नहीं है तो इनडायरेक्टली भी डाउरी है फेस पे सामने दे आर नॉट की डिमांडिंग की नहीं मुझे डाउरी चाहिए बट इनडायरेक्टली बोलेंगे एज अ गिफ्ट एज अ गिफ्ट प्रेशर तो वही है ना कोई इस चीज को नहीं समझता कि जो लड़की के साइड के जो पेरेंट्स है वो कैसे उस चीज को मैनेज करते हैं एक तो वो सबसे पहले अपनी बेटी को देते हैं उसके बाद वो डाउरी देते हैं वो ये कोई नहीं समझता कि हो सकता है वो लोन लेके दे रहे हो वो क्या बेच रहे हो वो सेल कर रहे हो प्रॉपर्टी सेल कर रहे हो या लोन इंटरेस्ट पे ले रहे हो वो करते हैं उसके बाद लास्ट में जब वो शादी करके जाती है तो उनको वहां पे टॉर्चर किया जाता है कि तुम्हारे पापा ने तुमको क्या दिया है तुम्हारी मम्मी ने तुमको क्या दिया उतना देने के बाद भी कुछ भी नहीं दिया और कुछ टाइम के बाद जब लड़की को लगता है नहीं अब नॉट एनी मोर मतलब अब मैं सर्वाइव नहीं कर सकती तो कुछ टाइम के बाद वो सुसाइड कर लेती है या एसिड अटैक होता है या हैंग कर लेती है खुद को फिर बोला जाता है योर डॉटर इज नो मोना अल्टीमेटली क्या होता है अगर वो सरवाइव कर भी जाती है तो लड़के के साइड से ना वो वहां पे रह पाती है फिर जब वो लड़की के साइड अपने साइड आती है तो सब बोलता है यहाँ पे तुम्हारा क्या है अब तो तुम्हारा जो है वही है बट कहीं ना कहीं वहां पे जो पिसते हैं वो हम औरतें पिसते हैं लड़कियां पिसती हैं तो कहीं ना कहीं सिस्टम करप्टेड है सिस्टम करप्टेड है इस चीज को ठीक करना पड़ेगा और ट्राई टू मेरा ये हम्बल रिक्वेस्ट है टू एवरी पेरेंट्स Try to educate your girls as well. आप जितना अपने लड़के को पढ़ाते हैं उतना ही अपनी लड़कियों को पढ़ाए ऐसा नहीं है कि लड़कियों को अपने इन लॉज का रेस्पेक्ट नहीं करना चाहिए बट सेम जब लड़की कहीं जाती है अपने इन लॉज के पास तो सेम उसको भी उतना ही रेस्पेक्ट मिलना चाहिए तो ये चीज है समझने वाली अब ये तो थोड़ा सिस्टम का भी ये है अभी बहुत है बट अभी भी 98% मेरे खुद के एक्सपीरियंस से जितना मैं विजिट कर रही हूँ हर दिन हर रोज मैं सुबह से शाम तक जाती हूँ और मुझे हर दिन ऐसा कभी नहीं है जो ऑल्टरनेट डेज पे ये केसेस नहीं मिलते हैं सुसाइडल केस हैं या डिवोर्स के केस डिवोर्स के केसेस भी अभी बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ रहे हैं उसका रीजन भी कहीं ना कहीं ये है डाउरी उनको इतना टॉर्चर किया जाता है अगर पेरेंट्स क्या बोलेंगे अगर उनको डाउरी चाहिए होगा तो वो ये नहीं बोलेंगे कि मुझे डाउरी चाहिए मुझे तो कुछ नहीं चाहिए मुझे बस एक अच्छी लड़की चाहिए जो समझदार सुलझी हुई जो घर चलाए बट मेरे बेटे को एक गाड़ी चाहिए और गाड़ी में भी कौन सी चाहिए गाड़ी क्रेटा गाड़ी चाहिए ये डिमांड करते हैं बट मुझे कुछ नहीं चाहिए वी डोंट नीड एनी तो आप इनडिरेक्टली आप प्रेसर बनाते हैं आप इनडायरेक्टली प्रेशर बनाते हैं और कहीं ना कहीं उस प्रेशर को सफर करते हैं हम लड़कियां हम लड़कियां उस चीज को प्रेशर प्रेशर हम लोग पे हम लोग को फेस करना पड़ता है और गांव में हम लोग क्या करते हैं एक पंचायत बना देते हैं या मुखिया वैसा बना देते हैं भले ही उसको कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन का खुद नॉलेज नहीं है बट उनको बना देते हैं कि नहीं आप डिसाइड करो इट इज अप टू यू यू आर द राइट अथॉरिटी टू डिसाइड कि क्या होना चाहिए इस लड़की के साथ और हमें इतना भी राइट right नहीं है कि अगर हमारे साथ गलत होता है तो हम डाउरी होने के बाद अगर हमारे साथ गलत होता है तो हम दूसरी शादी भी नहीं कर सकते ये तो और भी ज्यादा क्राइम है हमारे लिए बिकॉज हम लोग को वो राइट right नहीं है हम लोग अगर वो करें तो वो गलत हो गया एक लड़के अगर एक लड़का गलत करता है तो वो तीन तीन शादी कर सकता है 
is having the right by birth i think but agar ek ladki ke sath galat hota hai wo dusri shaadi nahi kar sakti fir wo baat uske character pe aa jata hai to ultimately hota kya hai har jagah safar humko karna padta hai hum ladkiyon ko safar karna padta hai aur is cheez ko ye system ko hum aur aap milke hi change kar sakte hain agar hum aap ek dusre ke sath hain agar hum baat karte hain women empowerment ki तो वेमेन एम्पावरमेंट में बात सिर्फ उनको आत्मनिर्भर बनाने का नहीं है बात है कि उनको उनके राइट्स के बारे में अवेयर कराना कि आपके राइट्स क्या क्या हैं। मैं पर्सनली विजिट जब करती हूँ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के थ्रू अपने ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है मेरा तो मैं विजिट करती हूँ तो मैं सबसे वन टू वन बात करती हूँ तो सब लोग से पूछती हूँ कि आपका प्रॉब्लम है एक्चुअल में क्या प्रॉब्लम और तो फिर वो लोग बोलते हैं कि मेरा सबसे बड़ा प्रॉब्लम है कि मुझे आ, मतलब डिवोर्स लेना है या मेरे साथ ऐसा हो रहा है मेरे साथ वैसा हो रहा है तो कहीं ना कहीं जब तक आप वन टू वन उससे बात नहीं करेंगे तो हमें ये चीज पता नहीं चलेगा कि एक्चुअल में प्रॉब्लम कहाँ है लैकुनेस कहाँ है तो हमें देखना पड़ेगा और समझना पड़ेगा एक दूसरे के साथ के बिना एक दूसरे के सपोर्ट के बिना इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल नेक्स्ट टू इम्पॉसिबल और मेरा और हमारा ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फाउंडेशन वी आर वर्किंग ऑन वेमेन एम्पावरमेंट और हमने उनके लिए उनको आत्मनिर्भर बनाने के लिए हमने स्टिचिंग सेंटर ओपन किया वी हैव ओपन टू स्टिचिंग सेंटर फ्री स्टिचिंग सेंटर फॉर अंडर प्रिविलेज वुमेन और द वुमेन रिजाइडिंग इन द रूरल एरियाज और हु आर डिवोर्सी और जो भी डाउरी के केसेस होते हैं जो उनके साथ होता है ऐसा ऐसा कि अगर डाउरी के लिए उनको बहुत ज्यादा टॉर्चर किया जाता हो तो फिर वो आ सकते हैं जैसे मैं ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में जो स्टिचिंग सेंटर स्टार्ट की हूँ वहां पे वो लोग ज्वाइन करते हैं और जब ज्वाइन करने के बाद अभी मोर देन टू जो वेमेन है वो वहां से ट्रेनिंग ले चुके हैं स्टिचिंग सेंटर से और आज के डेट में कहीं ना कहीं वो हंड्रेड रुपीज टू हंड्रेड रुपीज पर डे इनकम उनको हो रहा है तो जब वो मुझे बोलते हैं कि मैम मुझे कोई अर्निंग तो नहीं थी बट आज के डेट में जब आप सेंटर से मैं काम करती हूँ मैं सौ रुपए आज कमाई हूँ वो मेरे लिए जो रियल हैप्पीनेस है ना वो है मेरे लिए आप किसी को अगर किसी के लिए कुछ एक दिन अगर उनको कुछ भी फूड ग्रेन या कुछ भी अगर हेल्प करते हैं कि ये तुम खा लो वो इम्पोर्टेंट नहीं है बट आप अगर उसको उतना केपेबल बनाते हैं अगर आप उनके लिए वो हेल्प करते हैं कि वो पर डे उनकी अर्निंग हो हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड तो विद वो सबसे ज्यादा इम्पोर्टेंट है आप उनको उतना केपेबल बनाए और हम आप सब लोग मिलके ये कर सकते हैं कि कोशिश बस इतना ही है कि हम लोग सब मिलके उनके लिए कुछ करें और यस स्टिल डाउरी स्टिल एग्जिस्ट एंड इट इज द डार्केस्ट साइड ऑफ मैरिज आई कैन से और बस बस मुझे इतना कहना है कि प्लीज ट्राई टू सपोर्ट इच अदर ट्राई टू एनकरेज इच अदर जितना हो सके एक दूसरे की हेल्प करें और कोशिश करें कि ऐसा ना हो सिस्टम में कुछ भी हो या अगर कोई आपसे आके बोले तो उनकी हेल्प करें और प्लीज अगेन आई एम रिक्वेस्टिंग एवरी पेरेंट्स इट्स अ हम्बल रिक्वेस्ट कि ट्राई टू एजुकेट योर गर्ल गर्ल्स एज वेल प्लीज it's a humble request don't take it otherwise thank you so much ami ma'am thank you so much thank you thank you so much her excellency miss sarita there thank you go you have you have seen her that she has poured all her heart out and she has request a humble request to all the parents to educate the girl child and i do see that many of our viewers have actually agreed to what you have said miss sarita Thank you so much much appreciated for your great speech. Thank you so much Shami ma'am thank you. And I do see that uh, many of our new guests have just joined in. Thank you so much for joining in and today we are talking about is dowry system still prevent prevalent. A good marriage isn't something you find it is something you make and have to keep on making day after day next we're going to call upon our next speaker as we move on when i was young i used to admire intelligent people as i grow older i admire kind people kind people are the best people as i i call upon our next speaker the best kind of people as i have seen I call upon the next speaker and you will be able to feel the kindness spreading like a sunshine regardless whatever the weather you are in. Please put your hands together for the founder of Edutainment Institute 
the most kindest, intelligent, gorgeous, Her Excellency, Dr. Madhavi Bose. The stage is all yours, ma'am. Gratitude, ma'am. <laughs> oh, very nicely you have introduced all that much. Uh, much learning from you people, Excellencies. Uh, I'm like my PPT is visible. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so um, great. Uh, as uh, uh, I could say, my attorney. crucial topic to know to each and everyone. And here Sarita Ma'am has already introduced you in Hindi. So I, I should go with English now. And uh, I could say before going in English, uh, to English, I, I really want you to know that uh, I always used to thought that dowry system is just in India, but it's not like this. I've seen it is in UK also. <laughs> I got to know it is in um, more than so many countries, means different countries. So, of course, dowry system is still prevalent. It is the darkest side of wedding. Um, I myself, when I think about getting married, I even get shiver, hesitate. I'm the one who is working as a founder, YouTuber, translator, composer, content writer, soft skill trainer, PD mentor, international speaker. But when it comes to the topic marriage, it makes me shiver. It makes me hesitate. Only this thing, because there are a number of systems, not just dowry, but this is the one of the huge thing. Even though dowry has been illegal, okay? It is illegal in India since 1961. It is uh, like, if you could say, it is prevalent according to the normal crime records bureau of India. In a country with nearly 10 million wedding a year, less than 10,000 cases of dowry were reported in 2015. And I don't know that what is going to be the record for 2021 because now the dowry is completely as a gift. I will come to that. But before that, I would like you to know dowry is a social evil in the society, which we cannot see, uh, which is uh, not taken as an evil, which can be understood by the daughter parents, which can be understood a daughter, a girl, a wife, a woman. And by I don't know why after getting mother, being mother-in-law, she forgets that. <laughs> so that has caused, like dowry is a social evil in the society that has caused unimaginable tortures and crimes towards women. The evil has taken lives of women from all straight of society. Be it poor, middle class, or the rich, we are talking with the IS, IPS, doesn't matter. However, it is the poor who come and fall prey to it more due to their lacks of awareness and education. The expectation that a dowry will be given at the time of the bride and groom's engagement is, a com is to compensate uh, for the groom's education, career, and wealth. The bride's education, career, and wealth are completely dis disregarded as she not given equal social status to a man. Now, what is the mindset actually about this? Girls equally liability, uh, you know, uh, like a liability, like people, uh, like uh, I think parents, even they take themselves as a liability. And that's the reason when in India, uh, uh, when we see out of the hospital, the girl born, okay, Lakshmi, I am. And when boy comes, ladka hua hai. Why? Why you are giving us a name? We don't really need, we are like, uh, I, I believe in this 21st century, at least our parents are very happy to get a girl. Because now things have completely changed. And uh, let me tell you, apart from this, um, the Pandit uh, chant mantras. Uh, if we don't know in Sanskrit, even uh, they are the basic things which he speaks, which we are uh, aware or not. But let me tell you, he speaks in this is uh, in his chant that um, like uh, it has given this uh, like you know uh, uh, bright side from bright side it has given this much money, this much dowry. You know, itna uh, 20 lakh diya gaya hai, 30 lakh diya gaya. Sanskrit mein they chant, 
<laughs> so uh, this is how it goes like oh, oh, and this is uh, like oh, there are a lot of monies and uh, already the car is there bed is there and he's chanting how how proudly the ritual part is going because it is it is started from the root you know it's it's a root and uh, you know from like um, from number of like uh, from so many months if somebody will keep speaking you you are mad you are mad you are mad i'm damn sure you are going to be mad and if somebody will say you are intelligent you are intelligent you will be intelligent and this is how it goes the ritual uh, the part of the ritual let me tell you how it goes glorifying <laughs> how it goes like uh, they feel it's a uh, like when it um, a, ga, a, a girl side from a girl side if uh, there is something which is given like this lot of money car something so it's a glorify you know and even a parent says by proudly they say humne to itna diya hai humne to car diya hai humne to plot diya hai itne lakh diye hai like why are you so happy about it i believe we should be ashamed and a most most uh, ashamed should be a groom that you are selling yourself because in india itself said in india itself said when in equal point a daughter side people will ask for the money or something so they will say that they are selling a daughter the daughter will be equal willing to prostitute if you are going to sell like this so what you are guys grooms i'm going to ask you this what you are learning how you are getting educated from many years the same thing is going on and um, i believe khushi se gift bhi diya ja raha hai <laughs> that which is sarita mam has told that is it is, a, it is by, by my happiness we are giving why you are giving why you are giving if you are educating especially when you are educating your daughters why you are giving a gift she doesn't need that she doesn't require that she you have already educated her you have already made her amazing personality like i'm the example of a daughter sarita ma'am ami ma'am and number of females are so supriya so ma'am anuja ma'am all are the examples over here a daughter who is earning a like comparatively like a man we don't need we just need your love we just need and we want to support you like a son there is nothing uh, there is no differentiation between a girl and a guy what i believe um, if police has to raid <laughs> on the system so i believe studio is the very uh, you know photo studio is going to be the greatest part where they could go and see how proudly they are giving a dowry with the name of gifts uh, the uh, plot the uh, car this is something like a selling this should not be there which is already prohibited which is already banned so why why we, we are already said no to dowry then why it is still going on and we should also are uh, being an educated personalities we should also case on it we should also case on it now never counted as a work here you can see the image why because before i said if uh, the most important thing we should get educated aware and then only one uh, thing when we will similarly on like a guy might not our, our parents won't uh, you know uh, think us a liability or we won't think us as 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 in liability because how it goes uh, in ancient time it used to think uh, that if a girl is going if a bride is going it means uh, a groom's home it means uh, a groom has to take uh, he is going to take lot of responsibility khane peene rehne you know all the responsibility is taking or iski wajah se they are going to give you dowry ha huh. come on guys let it be okay we are we are earning we are educated but what about those uh, women jo educated nahi hai mujhe to dekh lijiye yahan par you can see how many work she is doing how many work she is doing in whole day <laughs> इतना वर्क अगर आप करने का किसी को पे करेंगे ना यू विल गेट टू नो आप भी इतना नहीं कर रहे होंगे सो डू नॉट डू नॉट टेक इट लाइक यू आर नॉट लाइक यू आर नॉट काउंटिंग योर होम मेकर एज अ शी इज वर्किंग यू आर थिंकिंग ओके शी यू हैव टेकन अ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी नाउ नाउ शी शुड ब्रिंग समथिंग फ्रॉम हर होम 
like a you need to understand and if you are you also have a daughter or sister you need to understand that already a, a father and mother or parents are giving a daughter don't is it isn't it more than enough and the daughter is going to give you a son daughter she is going to sacrifice her nut three years four years you have a 20 minutes job guys you have a 20 minutes job but she gets pregnant she she loses her two years three years and she forgets her career and then she becomes a homemaker she she is doing everything for you and still you are expecting something from her expecting something from their parents keep calling them about this um uh, like you know bagging them i could say it's like a bagging you know don't be a bagger in direct bag come on have self self respect have that self respect a, a wife should not be ashamed of uh, being your wife she should be proud to have a groom like like you a husband like like you now uh, that uh, the next thing uh, which i am going to uh, share with you without any here itself that um, of course um, you know love marriage which is people are against them them today after researching a lot i have got you know i got to know that the whole structure will ruin the whole structure will ruin if there will be a love marriage the dowry system it's not it's not about only giving uh, money i'm telling you when when you will um, attend i i have i have never attended a christian marriage <laughs> but i have attended all those different religion marriage and especially hindu religion jab aap jaate hain jaate se hi shuru ho jata hai mala pinai jayegi unhe we are going to give to 2000 baht 3000 then 30000 then 3 lakhs then car then bed then gifts and not for the entire marriage it's going to be after marriage jab jab ji ja ji ghar par aayenge unko dena hi hoga something we need to give <laughs> because this is a ritual and that should that won't happen in the love marriage <laughs> because in love marriage a guy is going to expect only a girl only a girl because he loves but why people don't want to leave people don't want to break this rule people don't want to break this uh, ritual which is going um from this many years ha huh, okay so now but still i could say still india is the place where women has got a lot of respect because india is the place where i i i really don't uh, i'm not going to judge other countries but i i could say here we um, pray goddess and um, that's what we have given a huge respect to a mother and sister especially if i could talk directly to females be strong we have to be very much strong we are already strong we we have those menstrual cycles we have uh, the, the power to you know bring a life in this world so we have to be strong do not leave the jobs now in this covid i i believe that you all have understood that we can do by work from home also <laughs> so don't leave it don't leave it don't give any excuses just um, not equal to guys but be yourself self respect should be there stand against everything which you feel that this is that is not right that is not right no need to cry anymore if you want to cry in the shower alone don't be don't be a victim don't be a victim agar aap koi gaon se chote se village se bhi ho to bhi main yahi kahungi mat baniye victim mat baniye aap bhi i i believe a man when he is a bagger tend to is a proud to be a man why a woman is not to proud to be anything like come on you have agar aap home maker bhi ho na to proud karo kyunki wo jo gym mein uthane wale log hai wo belen ko uthane mein dar rahe पर हम जिम से हम वर्कआउट करने से नहीं डर रहे हम जॉब करने से नहीं डर रहे हम बिजनेस करने से नहीं डर रहे वी आर मोर पावरफुल टेल यूर सेल्फ दैट यू आर इक्वल टू अ मैन मैन कांट बॉर्न अ बेबी अ मैन डोंट हैव अ मेंस्ट्रुअल पेन एंड ही कांट टेक दिस पेन आई एम नॉट से दैट आई एम नॉट अगेंस्ट दैम बट आई एम स्टिल से वी आर द बेस्ट प्राउड टू बी अमेन प्राउड टू बी अमेन 
and and just like you are the best no need to give anything to anybody uh, like you are going uh, and and i believe that hum uh, like we can also say to uh, our in laws family that we are there i'm we are going to contribute like there is nothing my, that is my home my salary is going to be now her salary and i believe jab hum log work work karte to fir to hamare parents ko zyada nuksan hai kyunki assets wahan se khatam ho raha hai i'm running my business <laughs> if i'm running my business i'm going to leave my home so somewhere my family is going to lose asset <laughs> so here now the next family is so so i believe that the next family will think twice to take dowry and still if they take leave them just do not talk to them this kind of people are not not uh, like you know even uh, deserve to talk even deserve to talk so there are number of advertisement which is going on and that are amazing which i have shared today in the link and i'm going to share in this again youtube link also uh, which is going on about um, those guys who are taking um, like dowry they are like a khota sikka <laughs> so do not do that do not and parents i could say aap bhi gift dena band kariye gift ke naam par is tarah se dena band kariye ek bar apni beti se zarur puchiye kya wo ye chahti hai she doesn't want that educate her that is more important and the last thing which i want to say is topic pe to jitna bola jaye kam hai but i would love that ki is covid ke baad aur covid ke chalte hue bhi hum log actions bhi le bolne se zyada jaise hi kuch milta hai case bhi kare we should do that चाहे वो आपका परिवार ही क्यों ना डजेंट मैटर डजेंट मैटर गलत गलत है अगर आपके परिवार में भी मर्डर होता है तो यू नीड टू टेक एन एक्शन टेक एन एक्शन फॉर दैट सो इम्पोर्टेंट स्टेप्स टू रेडिकेट डाउरी एजुकेट योर डॉटर्स एजुकेट योर सेल्फ आप आज भी एजुकेट नहीं हुए तो एजुकेशन की कोई उम्र नहीं होती यू कैन गेट एजुकेट एनी टाइम एनी एज ओके इन आर इंस्टीट्यूशन दे इज नो एज बार so any age encourage them to have have their own career their own career if the own career is itna chhota sa ki ek salon ho ya kuch bechna ho anything but they, that should be i'm proud i'm proud on my maid also she is doing something at least <laughs> i'm proud on, on her teach them to be independent and responsible independent and responsible for everything apni thoughts ko bhi usko ek ek cheez ke liye ye na puchna pade ki aaj main webinar kar sakti hu they should she should not ask she should be independent enough and responsible enough treat them equally without any discrimination equally and do not encourage do not encourage the practice of giving or taking dowry do not encourage and if any person demands directly or indirectly from the parents or other relatives or guardians of a bride or bridegroom as the case may be like any dowry he shall be punishable with imprisonment uh, imprisonment for a term which shall not be less than 6 months but which may extend to 2 years and with fi- with fine with fine which may extend to 10 years so be aware and you know spread awareness thank you so much thanks a lot that's all from my side thanks a lot thank you thank you so much her excellency dr madhavi bors for your wonderful sharing she has actually spoken women we are powerful women be proud of yourself we are strong and we have to be strong wonderful great achievements uh, ms uh, dr madhavi bors and um, you know all the things that you have accomplished we wish you all the best and please do not worry about your marriage you will find your soulmate or probably you would have achieved find your soulmate by my, by now and all our blessings will always be there for your beautiful happy marriage for your kind heart Thank you once again. Thank you so much ma'am. That's what I'm going to do love marriage. <laughs> That is the solution for that. that. <laughs> beautiful beautiful. Now happy is a man who finds a true friend. For a happier man is who finds that true friend in his wife. 
As we move on, a painter paints picture on canvas, but a musician paints their picture in silence. And silence isn't empty, it is full of answers. And here we would like to hear the answers from the heart of the most softest person on the panel list of speakers. Please put your hands together for the founder, director of Taru Fine Arts, Her Excellency, Dr. Shanti Saravanan. The stage is yours, ma'am. Thank you, Amy. It's wonderful explanation about my pain. Thank you very much. Yeah. And Sarita, dear, and uh, Madhuri, dear, all, always uh, take the so much value points you had on. So, such a, I want to something value added in uh, my dear friends to include uh, this topic. So, I want to include my sentences. So, as far as I am concerned, dowry system should be abolished when women got empowered system of dowry will be banished so through soft skills because my I am ambition is soft skills is my one of one of the favorite because I am established in my way in my artist work in my like soft skills only. So I am most welcome the uh, system I want to always encourage my students as well as social activists people any all together, I want to uh, develop through soft skills, education, and as well as education, and keep entry, keep entry in acquiring knowledge improvement. So now I want to add you added the something uh, unique uh, in uh, one of the my favorite Tamil quote is "Kai toilei wonder ikkathru kol, kavalei wona killei wonder ikkathru kol." And so So this is Tamil poem. So it's my valuable, always I have remembered this one quote. So this is one of the, my favorite quotes because my art field, uh, any soft skills in empowerment does not mean dominance, rather it established one successful position. In this day and age, we need women to empower themselves and not accept somebody to empower us themselves and not accept somebody to empower us. Seeking help is not a bad idea, but to rely on a third person to grow as an individual is not necessary. So we should ensure that we balance both family and career. So simultaneously and not let one accept over the shadow other. This type of the multitasking sharpens our leadership skills and helps us grow as a person. So one thing that will never go out of stock is pessimistic people who want to see you fail, but it is not our job to prove them wrong. So instead, keep focusing on your work and your success will be the best performance to them. Self-discipline and self-improvement are the key to your growth and we should not fear judgment of others. Rather, we should only be conscious of our own judgment and move ahead. So, yes, the uh, woman should be powerful. It should not be boss around. That is a difference between establishing your position and accepting it on someone else. It is important for us to track our early progress to celebrate how far we have come since last year and plan that we wish to this year. Such attention to progress goes a long way to acknowledging one's own efforts and struggle a big conception about human empowerment. Is that it means women are superior to men, but actually it is or not. So, and uh, this is, I, I am adding some, uh, include the point. So now my concept, uh, yeah. What is the dowry system? So I, the Sarita dear and the Madhavi dear already spoken in the, uh, in the best way. So I want to include my in my Tamil language. Always this in our part, we include our knowledge and self-improvement is must. Yeah, past is the past. And now my son is 11 years means in 20 years, how I will manage to, how I will manage that person. He, he is a married boy means I want to 
established my son how to deliver that child like past not past is not become uh, comes but future is becomes ours so i want to establish our child is become a good man like that so is most valuable thing in children education is most important because uh, uh, boys or girls are uh, generally equal in sexually and generally and as well as education soft skills and they are all together so but one of the thing children uh, girl and boy are equal to self respect to elders also is most important in the now we are days all the gadgets how to adapting how to handle the elders and how to obey the elders we must only responsibility to teach them so uh, this is my uh, future is ours this is my topic so future in our children no dowry system like a child child like child or children we must obey our elders and we must obey the responsibility of social responsibility and we must obey the nature and this is a basic and important point we must obey the all together same equality same je, like uh, how much to soft skills education and uh, taking care of elders and uh, this is the most valuable thing to add on abolish and banish with dowry system means future only ours so past is of not ours but future is ours and present also ours so we must take responsibility of our future our children take a good responsibility and to uh, take a social responsibility and dowry system is fully abolished is a good indian and good uh, india and good and world over like uh, and uh, how much to say means uh, uh, good responsibility is the uh, any other education soft is, is almost uh, all thing in learning but good manners is only a good thing so we must teach them to good manners so good manners you the uh, future on is to obey the child like their child how to treat them how to obey them Ch yeah of course girl child also we must to, to take the responsibility how much to handle uh, our uh, home not only our uh, like uh, uh, what you say means uh, not only manage the professional skills is not only a girl way we must obey first is family is the best and best way to founding the authority to nature so we must to obey the nature of and we must obey the boys also like girls i want to say girls also obey the boys and boys also obey the girls and as well as gender is not equal one thing uh, like the uh, human being do we want to obey the nature uh, cat dog anything we want we must to obey future is ours so we we must to uh, no dowry system like in uh, into in like in this day i must uh, like a uh, impossible thought in present we are abolish most of the time in 10 years we must fully abolish and banish we must hope good children make a good society is coming through thank you very much yeah kind thanks her excellency dr shanti it's a great sharing that you have shared and i i really like the part when you say that obey the elders the nature and the social responsibility is beautiful to give same equality and i also like when you said both you have to balance your family and also your career and also you have recited a poem in in tamil beautifully thank you so much ma'am thank you so much for all the informations that you have given us please give a round of applause back again to her excellency dr shanti for all her great sharings 
And I still can see that uh, we do have some of our guests that who are still joining in. Thank you so much. And I can see the topic for today is getting so fired up. Thank you for all the honorable guests for joining in. And I would like to say that Mahatma Gandhi has actually said this once. Any young man who makes dowry a condition to marriage discredits his education, his country, and dishonor womanhood. As next we move on, I would like to mention that the world would be a nicer place if everyone had the ability to love unconditionally. The next speaker we're going to call upon on stage, a generous spirit full of empathy, perhaps a little prone to sentimentality and with a heart as big as cloudless sky. Here we present to you a certified skill trainer, parenting coach, Her Excellency, Ms. Neha Sri Vastava. The stage is all yours, ma'am. Thank you, Emmy, ma'am. And thank you, Raja Rao, sir, for giving me this platform. So, and our eminent speakers have already spoken about this topic. So I would like to uh, initiate, I would like to initiate this topic. Um, shall I begin? Woman, who is an epitome of Goddess Lakshmi, who should be worshipped, who brings prosperity, flourishment in our house, then why she is being a victim of acid attack, setting on fire, she is facing harassment, abuse, domestic violence, she is being beaten up. Why? The reason is the biggest reason is dowry. Yes, dowry is the biggest reason. That's why these incidents are happening. Good evening, everyone. I am Neha Shirvastava, already being introduced, a certified soft skill trainer. I'll be speaking on the topic, dowry is the dark side of weddings. Dowry is a social evil that has caused tortures and crime towards women. This evil has taken lives of so many people. Of so many people means the women and their family members. They are being tortured. They are being harassed. They are being asked for dowry. Means so much pressure they are getting from the bright side that you have to give the dowry, you have to bring the cash, you have to bring the expensive gifts. Means they are not able to bear this turmoil, this mental harassment. And what's happening? they are committing suicide. The newly wedded bride is committing suicide and some are getting murdered by their in-laws and husband side even because they are not able to fulfill an adequate amount of money which the groom family demands. This is really, really, I'm saying an evil and curse to the society which has to be stopped. Ahead, I would also like to encompass the poor family, the mainly the poor families we are seeing, jo bhoti poor family hai, middle class family hai, jo afford nahi kar sakte hai, un pe zada pressure hota hai, societal pressure hota hai, that you have to means, uh, suppose shadi fixed ho gai, okay, marriage fixed ho gai, ab humari baate start hoti hai, marriage ki. So the initial talk itself starts, ki demand, about the demand, about the bargaining, is it correct? No, it is not at all correct. And even I would like to say the family of bride, even they initiate the conversation to the groom side. How much dowry you want? Why? Our girls are not educated enough that they can afford themselves. They are educated and then they can raise their standard of living. Then why is this question arises of dowry? This question should be stopped then and there. No, but this system is prevailing and the situation is becoming worse. Okay. I will give you examples like it means now in modern families, dowries are being asked in a very sophisticated and manipulative way. Like means uh, my son is an engineer. He is a doctor. He is placed in an MNC company. Now your daughter is coming to my family, to her extended family. So what gifts are she bringing? Is she bringing? Um, I would suggest that you gift your daughter a luxurious apartment, car, 
some cash as fixed deposits for the betterment of her future. Imagine they are asking dowry, but it is in the form of gift. No, gifts are not demanded. Gift kabi mange nahi jate. Gift pyar se diye jate hain. They are a token of love and blessing. But you are asking like monsters, greedy monsters. Please give me this gift. Give me that gift. Comparison starts. See, Mr. Sharma family. Wow, her bride has brought such a beautiful car. Usne kitna acha gadi lai hai. Kitne acche gehne lai hai. Tum kya lai ho? Tum to kuch lai nahi ho. You imagine the turmoil which she's facing. She has left her previous family, her mom, dad, brother, sister. Now she has come to her new family with love and affection. But what she's getting? She's getting just dissatisfaction, mental trauma, harassment, abuse. She's being beaten up by her own husband and in-laws because she's not able to meet as per the expectations. This is very wrong and it should be stopped. Now, I would also like to uh, throw some light. It is being seen that in dowry system, like uh, the poor people, which are very poor people, and we can say this as well, a narrow-minded conservative family. Just like a girl born, okay? as soon as the birth of a girl child, they start worrying. They start worrying. And she is feeling arises. अब मैं कहां से पैसे इन्वेस्ट करूं कैसे सेविंग करूंगा अपनी बेटी के लिए कैसे सुटेबल बॉय लाऊंगा उसको दहेज में क्या-क्या देना होगा मेरी बेटी कहीं खुदकुशी ना कर ले सो मच क्वेश्चन अराइजेस इन देयर माइंड इज इट करेक्ट नो इट इज नॉट एट ऑल करेक्ट क्यों क्यों डर रहे हो आप आपकी बेटी हुई बेटा होता तब लगता नहीं बेटी हुई है तब क्यों डर क्यों डर है आप जस्ट टीच योर डॉटर्स ओके मेक देम अवेयर एजुकेट देम Tell them about, make them so much independent that they can stand on their own feet. And if they get married to such greedy monsters, she can then and there leave that marriage and come out of their, that marriage and lead a bliss, blissful life. Okay? So it is very important to be independent, educated. If you are independent, there's no need to fear. But if you are independent, dependent, financially sound, you are very scared of the society, then what will happen? You have to live with those people, you have to listen to them every day. If you don't have this, you don't have this, you don't have this, you don't have this, you don't have this. Why? Why we should uh, listen to such uh, stuff? Are we made for that? No. We have equal rights as the boys which are getting. Why so much discrimination between boys and girls? If both are equal, they should know any discrimination between both of us, okay? Means families, we are seeing in the most of the families, boys are getting more preferences for the uh, girls. Why is it so? Uh, in terms of, you can say, education, amenities, or in any field, why boys are given preference? Even girls are also much, much sound, okay? And I would like to uh, add... About marriage, wedding. Marriage is an auspicious ceremony, okay? It unites two souls. We all newly wedded couples. When our marriage is we are so happy that we are going to enjoy our life. We will get the blessings of our in-laws. But what happens? bride We can say some are very lucky. They don't face this mental stigma. But some have to face the heinous, Crime which I have seen, my God, they have to face some such shameful acts that I can't describe. What gift have you brought? I'm I'm really sorry to say these people are beggars. You look beggars are you not capable enough to earn a good amount of money? Are you not capable enough that you can earn the money and stand by yourself? You can uh, just give your daughter-in-law a good uh, food to eat. Make her do- your daughter-in-law a daughter. Wo bhi ek ladki hai, ek beti hai. Usko apne beti ki dekho. Tab dekho life, lekin nahi. This system is not abolishing. It is increasing day by day. This system is not happening here. It is increasing. Because... Why? Because the greed is increasing. We need to make a very good strategy. Then only it is going to abolish 
else it's not going to abolish. This is going to increase day by day. And I means I've seen so many cases like se news ajari ki iska matlab ye women ne, means mental health issues. If you talk about mental health issues, women are prone more to depression and uh, ment- other mental health issues. Means means I've seen of my friends' cases like she's suffering from major depression. I asked her, what happened to you? Means why are you feeling so low? You're sounding so low. What happened? You means your newly married life. She told me. Means uh, she got married to a very good professional means person, and they have started demanding. No, we are not satisfied. We are not satisfied. You give us this much lakh. Your father promised me that he's going to give car. Then why he hasn't given? You give call. And then she was literally crying, and I can't tell you she's in major depression. She's taking antidepressant pills. Imagine, is this the scenario we are facing? Then what is the what the future we are going to have? what the future we are going to have in our uh, ahead and what uh, more i would like to inculcate without taking more of the time i mean uh, means how we can stop this this is i have spoken about dowry ki matlab ladki hi kyun sahi kyun sahi ladki means she has taken a birth is it means the crime she has done no she hasn't done any crime okay she's far much better than your boy okay jo wo kar sakti hai aapka beta bhi wahi kar sakta hai they both are equal it is in your mindset aapko unhe educate karna hai you have to give them good moral values okay so means anti i think anti dowry act has also been passed by government but no such transformation we all have seen nothing means this system has to be abolished and who will do this we we the people have to stand together then only we can make a change okay. in society so okay. means, means this how system we can have to be parents the parents of boy child okay i am also a mother and i am having my son okay as a boy parent of a boy child what we have to do from the beginning itself inculcate values social and moral values respect women respect your mother respect each and every girl and respect your would be wife never demand money i am a mother i am making this like a pledge i will not ask any dowry okay i'll be satisfied i am capable enough that i can lead a very prosperous and healthy life so i will urge everyone okay and to the girl child parents i will say educate your girl make her independent and responsible she is very very powerful she will make a presence in the society so please go ahead no discrimination and please please encourage your children then only the system can be abolished this menace will be abolished that's all i would like to say thank you so much everyone thank you thank you so much kind thanks her excellency miss neha ma'am for your great sharings and it means a lot that you have shared shared about goddess lakshmi great examples that you have given gifts are not meant to be demanded that was a beautiful statement that you have mentioned and thank you so much that you have shared from your heart as a mom and also as a woman great sharing ma'am thank you so much and um, it's a great privilege that we have our founder of success world one from france our queen mother is in our panel today and we are most obliged and much with much respect and gratitude we would like to call upon her excellency queen mother nadia ma'am to give your kind words please welcome ma'am oh wow i <laughs> i john i couldn't expect that <laughs> i was just listening and enjoying what all our sisters were saying thank you so much for the honor and it is a very interesting topic and i will just participate with few words and say what i think about that i believe that uh dory is uh, something that was um we don't see dowry as a very big trouble you know i will tell you because the mentality was not evolved at in the past and it's culture and tradition for example i if i understood in in uh, india uh, the dowry is given uh, is given from uh, the bride to the groom from the family of the daughter to the to the to the family of the man of the bride, uh, groom 
But in different countries, it is the opposite. The man, the groom is giving the dowry to the daughter, to the bride. It's different. And this is a mentality. This mentality is a problem. And the cause is the non-value of the woman, the non-value of the girl, putting her always not equal to the man and always weak. So if we teach them the value of the woman, that she is the equal of the man, we, we won't have any more this kind of problem. And something, it's not about condemning the dowry. It's about condemning the forced marriage because a marriage is a sacred union between two persons who love one another. And it is based on love. If we teach our family, if we teach to the people love, I believe that they will, they will never speak about this dowry because they will value love in, above everything. Yes, we have to condemn this forced marriage, you know, to uh, arrange marriage because people, people need and to understand that a marriage is very sacred. You cannot think between two people. And if we want to change everything, we have just to, to be the example. I love what just the sister said just above. I am a mother and I will not ask for any dowry for my son. Why? Because she understood that her son is will have the choice and will choose anyone. I hope, I, I really hope that, that she will let her son marry the woman, the girl he wants. You understand? And this is the problem in our community sometimes. You know, uh, it is very important what you said. Why? Because when you want the change, you are not changing the things by forcing or condemning them. You are changing the things by being an example. If all the mothers, the actual mothers, will won't ask any more any dowry, it will become a tradition for the future generation because the past, we cannot change it. The, men, the, the mentality of our elders, we cannot change them, but we can change the mentality, the mindset of our future generation by standing now as an example for them and not asking any more this dowry that has nonsense. You, I, I believe that it's the best way. So, no people, they don't see the dowry as, uh, as something bad. They see, for example, let's say in India, they are, it's a participation to the wedding. And for example, in the Muslim country where the man is giving a dowry to his wife, is also to honor her. But it was the mentality of yesterday years. Today, the mentality has changed where woman is claiming her right and her equality to men. So she sees the dowry as an insult to her dignity and her value. And this is why, yes, we women need to change the things, but it starts by mothers to say from now, I will be an example for my children and the future generation. I won't give the nonsense. I won't give importance to this nonsense. A, a, a daughter-in-law is also a blessing for the family who is receiving this bride. She is always a blessing. And when I see that some people are begging for dowry, like it's a, it's an insult. Okay, I you give me, you have to beg me and give me that for me to take your, your daughter. It is an insult. 
Now we see it as an insult because we our mentality has changed. And I encourage all the women and all the mothers to be an example and stop this dowry and stop also the arranged marriage because the problem of dowry and the problem of divorce and all this violence, domestic violence, is also provocated because this arranged marriage. Our children need to choose their own their own future. You know, God gave us this freedom and and we knew, we need to respect that by giving also the freedom to our children. This is important. Thank you for everything. This is what I had to say. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful and amazing, lovely words that you have spoken, Queen Mother. Much appreciated and kind thanks to you. It Thank is my you. privilege. It is my privilege to be given to call upon the Queen Mother. Kind thank you for this platform. Thank it you. Blessing. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for being with us. I'm getting panic when the Queen is here. <laughs> As um, all our panel of um, speakers have actually spoken and they have actually prepared their mind, as the saying goes, that prepare your mind and your heart before you give your speech, as all our eminent speakers has proven that they have poured out their heart. May God bless all your kind souls for all your thoughts and, and all your thoughtful sharings. With that note, we have come to an end of our discussion for today. I would like to thank all our honorable speakers and the guests for your precious time and commitment in giving your love and support and kind thanks to our lovely viewers once again. Kind thanks to C8TV.net. Now, I would like to call upon our MD and the chairman and the most honorable Iron Lady to give her word of thanks. Please put your hands together for Her Excellency, Dr. Vijayi Caroline, ma'am. The stage is all yours, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. It's great to see you once again here on this auspicious day and the excellent platform. And very much excited to see even Queen Nadia, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma'am, for being here. Uh, yes, we are speaking about uh, dowry. Is dowry system still prevalent? Yes, it is prevalent. I would like to... Uh, conclude very soon. I don't know how much time is left over. If I know the time, I can go accordingly. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So is dowry system still prevalent? Yes, it's prevalent. Though the government has established the law in the year 1961, the prohibition of dowry system, even then we see this social evil practice continue, continuing. I have seen this dowry system, its consequences from my childhood till today. As a counselor, I'm attending many cases. When I was young in my school days, I have seen this dowry system and its impact. Uh, we used to have, uh, we are surrounded by uh, the different uh, religious people and I have seen the Hindu Christian and the Muslim culture of dowry system and its impacts. I was very much excited to see the display of the goods, the items, the articles, even the saris, everything, every material, what not, from spoon to highest to costliest to furniture in the house. So the, the display, we used to be excited to see, we used to go around all the articles, goods, and we used to be happy to look at. We do not know how much pain the parents are going on. We didn't understand. After a few years, we understood when the father of the girl child committed suicide. Then there was a great talk why it has happened. We were very young. We do not know why it has happened. But slowly, slowly, I'm able to understand when I'm growing up, he killed himself because he has taken a large amount on debt. So he couldn't repay the debt and it was burdening him a lot and he committed suicide. And we have, in the name of Meher in Muslim culture, the system is continuing. Their parents want to have their daughter to be very happiest 
state with all the comforts. That is the main reason. Yes, as Nadia ma'am said, it is to honor her girl child, their girl child. But it is turning up into a social evil practice. If they are rich, if they are comfort, if they provide, fine. It's fine. It's a, like a gift. A gift did like to their daughter. Accept it in the name of love, as a token of love. You can accept. But this practice has become in such a way that torturing the family members. They're unable to bear the burden of this dowry and they are, they are facing a lot of trauma. So this, especially the poor community, middle class family, upper class family are facing a lot of trauma. Even I have noticed in the rich family, they used to pay a huge dowry of 40 to 80 lakhs. I was surprised this the dowry, this much amount, but the daughter of that house committed suicide because they were family, the in-laws are not satisfied with the huge amount. They want more. The thirst of greediness has increased. They started torturing the daughter-in-law to get more and more. And the daughter who is well qualified, she doesn't want to uh, suffer her parents, though they are very rich, very wealthy, but even then she doesn't want to her, ask her family members and she committed suicide being a doctor. This is the real story I'm telling. So this kind of practices is affecting, inflicting a lot of family members and they're suffering a lot. And we, we can see especially the dowry system, it tortured the girl child, tortures the family members, and there is a great abuse in the house. The greediness is increasing. Apart from the dowry, they demand even further, in, uh, especially in uh, Andhra and Telangana in India, the sister-in-laws also to be, uh, make, we have to make them happy by uh, providing a great amount of gifts. That also troubles them a lot. So this practices has to be cut. We have to condemn this practice at our level. And we have to support the girl child to be educated. So only education is the answer. Because of the dowry system, most of the students, uh, especially girl child, are not encouraged to have the education. Because parents feel a great burden. We have to educate her, spend huge amount on her education, and we have to pay the dowry system. As uh, Madhavi Bose ma'am said, I would like to go for love marriage, but I have attended very recently the case of love marriage. I have received a call from the mother who is the principal of the college, and she said, I'm not in peace. I want your counseling, ma'am. I heard about you. Then I said, okay, what for your tortured? What, why, you, why you're not receiving the peace? What happened? You're a principal of the college. Your husband is also principal of another college. Your government sector employees, what happened? Then she said, ma'am, my salary is going only to pay the debt. Why? Why? Because we have to pay huge amount to my son in -law. Then I said, uh, when she narrated the story, she I heard that her daughter and uh, son in both are PG holders, they're doctors, eminent doctors, leading doctors, practicing in very corporate hospital. Then I said, they are earning, and you're very happy your daughter got uh, a um, low marriage, whom she got married to her heart concern. Then what's this? Why you need to pay such a huge amount? No man, they want to purchase a big bungalow. It's like a palace. My son-in-law want to be in the, such a palace. My daughter will be happy. So what to do, ma'am? I paid huge amount, lakhs of amount on that house. What happened? She's troubling herself. She has another two daughters, mother of three children. So if she satisfies one daughter, the rest of the daughters, the son-in-laws, will demand in the same manner. How much money she pay? And she is in the age of 50 plus. So very soon she's going to get retired. So these are the stories. We cannot relay on love marriage or arranged marriage. They try the, it is a mindset of the people. It has to be transformed. They try the best level to extract money from the parents. And especially because of the dowry system, the rich people go for rich families. They don't come back, come to the poor family. And the girl of the poor, poor family has to remain as a poor. She can't step into the rich family. She cannot fulfill the desires of the family. And I very recently attended another case. 
it is a funny one, really funny. And the, daughter, the daughter-in-law of the family, who is the third daughter-in-law, uh, made a call to me and said, ma'am, I'm not happy in this house. What's the problem? Everything is fine. Yes, ma'am, but my sister-in-laws are troubling. I mean, my poor sisters, they are troubling me. Why? Why are they torturing you? They say you got very less dowry and you did not get huge uh, jewelry. We go, we stepped into the house with a huge sal uh, dowry and a good uh, amount of uh, jewelry. We paid huge amount to our sister, daughter-in-law, sister-in-laws. We make them more happy. But what about you? She's well qualified and posted in a high position compared to her poor sisters. But see the torture. She's unable to bear the torture. So we see such kind of domestic abuse and a great uh, torture in the house and they commit suicide. We have seen many cases, almost 8,000 cases of deaths will be noticed in India, especially every day. So we can understand the traumatized situation of the woman. So education is only the uh, support for the woman. We have to encourage them to look at the care and they have to be independent, support themselves, and even support the family of the parents. So this is very important. So we all educated women, who are well settled, let us all join together and try our best level to condemn the social practice, evil practice and condemn the practice and support to lead very happiest with the equality, gender equality, no male dominance. All are equal as we are created by God equally. God has and showed in discrimination that your girl, your boy, he made them equally. So let us all understand the law of nature as law supports every human being equally. We too have to lead our life independently, equally, with all comforts, no gender discrimination, and we should not encourage any dowry system, even to our sons and daughters. I thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. I would like to thank, from the bottom of my heart, Queen Nadia, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma'am, for being here. Thank you once again. Your uh, speech is amazing, ma'am. It is an eye-opening. Thank you, ma'am. I would like to thank uh, Sarita Pandey, ma'am, uh, thank you very much, ma'am, for your insights and inputs. To be frank, I didn't hear properly because I joined a little bit late, but I heard lately. Uh, then Dr. Madhavi Bose, ma'am, thank you very much, ma'am, for your wonderful message. I heard everything. It's really a very interesting and exciting. Uh, you are at very end. You have given us very good inputs. I would like to thank Shanti Sarvanam, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, uh, Tamil poem and the information you have given us. Thank you, uh, thank you very much for Neha Srivastava, ma'am. Thank you very much, ma'am, for your wonderful inputs and insights. And you asked us to curb the social practice. Yes, we all join together on this platform, platform of C8. I would like to invite every educated and qualified woman to curb the practice of dowry system. Let us lead very happiest life. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for supporting the CIGET channel and, and 